Hey Ravings and Cravings here, otherwise known as Ruth Hartunian Allenbaugh. Welcome to another Monday night with me. I don't know if you're eating dinner or if you're driving, but I will be happy to keep you company today along with not Pleasant Pizza, even though I said that originally, but we had to reschedule. And so Pleasant Pizza will come another time. The people who, the new owners of that of that lovely establishment. They'll come and do an interview another time. I, I will miss you today. But today I have with me Megan Lafreniere. Did I say it? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I said it right. From Sweet Meg's Creations. And so I have a cookie on my cheat sheet with all my info, which I will move around while I'm talking to her. So should I call you? Are you just a Meg? Are you not a Megan? No, most people call me Meg. Oh, but are you really just a Meg? I am a Megan, but you are a Megan. Hardly anyone calls me Meg. Okay, but we should. Megan. All right, so we'll say Meg. Okay. <laughs> all right, great. So Meg, let's get the commercial at the front where you tell us about what you have to offer. I'm going to show people, okay. so that the archived version that goes on the WILI YouTube channel that will have all the visuals. She has some pretty amazing things here in the in the studio, which will be hard to describe. But anyway, tell us about some of the things that you make. So, uh, the main thing that I make is custom sugar cookies. So, basically, if you have a picture or any inspiration, you just bring it to me, and I make it into cookies. And I also do gourmet drop cookies, and the flavors change seasonally. My most popular would be the blueberry oatmeal. All right. Uh, on cue, <laughs> let me open up the box and pull one out so people can see. You know, guys, I had to do my homework, so... I had to make sure I tried it before before we went on the air. You know, that's just fair. I'm going to show you one of them. They're, they're pretty substantial. They're pretty heavy. I mean, like I said, that this counts for breakfast because <laughs> it's, it's oatmeal, it's blueberries, there's eggs, right? Yeah. Why, why do you think this is a popular item? I think it's just so different. Most people are used to oatmeal raisin, but just the blueberries, the sweetness of it, it brings out the oatmeal, and it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just very different. So let me describe, the blueberries are plump. Yeah. They're not all shriveled, because people can't see what we're looking at here. Right. What I love about it is the fact that it has this lovely drizzle. Yeah, with a little almond. Oh, it's got the almond extract. Oh, I didn't yep. even pick that up. Yeah. So there's like frosting-ish kind of crunch with every bite yep and the outside of the cookie is a little crunchy but it's chewy right and that's that's how i think all right. cookies should be right, right? yeah because if, if it's not chewy it's not worth mm. right it's not a good cookie <laughs> exactly so the blueberry <laughs> oatmeal is one of your best seller you, yeah drop cookie what other drop cookies do you make um i make let's see there's chocolate chip of course there's snickerdoodle i do eggnog snickerdoodle mm. peanut butter okay um, I do a cherry dark chocolate. Ooh. I do pistachio cranberry, cranberry white chocolate. The list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. I'm always experimenting. So let me show people who can see a couple of your cookies. These are cotton candy flavor. What are they? What would you call these? Those ones are just the cotton candy sugar cookies. Cotton candy sugar. Yeah. Here's one of the really bigger ones. They're both, they're all beautiful. Matt and I tried the cotton candy sugar cookies and they also they're not crunchy right but they're not chewy it kind of melts in your mouth yeah yeah you know what yeah. that's a good way of saying it they yep. melt in your mouth that's a good way of saying it they taste really good it tastes like there's quality ingredients in there oh yeah so you know how much yeah. it costs for ingredients right 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 <laughs> what are some other kinds of cookies that you make um i make so Usually I only offer for the custom sugar cookies vanilla, except if people want it. I have people wanting um, key lime. We have lemon. That's nice. But mostly people just order the vanilla because of at parties you just don't know mm -hmm. allergies and stuff like that. So mainly just vanilla. But I'm, I pretty much can make any flavor sugar so, cookie. Do you have gluten-free offerings? I actually just started doing gluten sensitive. So since okay. my kitchen my kitchen has gluten, I can't say gluten free, mm -hmm. but I can use gluten free flour and separate it so it's gluten sensitive. All right. So gluten sensitive means what? It basically means that I'm using gluten free flour. Mm -hmm. It'll stay away from 
the cookies with glue in. It'll stay away from the flour, but mm -hmm. you can't necessarily you can't necessarily say that it's not going to be cross contaminated. Even the little bit of flour could affect people, so right. that's yeah. why it's the sensitive. Okay, well that's great. So the audience out there, people who are gluten sensitive, they can still get their cookies, yeah. right? Yep. So this box of cookies, I'm going to show people here. <laughs> The box of cookies looks like a bo box of chocolates, but it's really... It's just chocolate sugar cookies. Chocolate sugar cookies. Yeah. We're going to pop open this box here <laughs> and try these. And, you know, I don't like to eat alone. Are you going to have one? Do you want one? Do you not want your cookies? <laughs> have you had I've enough? eaten so many cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... I know this is noisy, but I'll try to hurry and... <laughs> There we go. All right, so it looks like a it looks like a chocolate, and this is a chocolate sugar cookie. Yep, chocolate sugar cookie. All right, I always smell stuff. You know, I just do that. Mm -hmm. Matt, do you want one? Yes, please. Mm hmm. Mm. Let me hand it over there. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So, what kind of chocolate do you use for a chocolate sugar cookie? Um, so I use a Dutch um, processed cocoa mm -hmm. and it's actually from argentina so it's high quality cocoa how did you pick argentina for a cocoa um i so i went to a chocolate festival and i got hooked on this certain brand of cocoa powder mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it is so good <laughs> it is good it's it does have a unique flavor like yeah i know i'm not eating Ghirardelli, and I know I'm not right. eating Lint, and I know I'm not eating Hershey's. Huh. Right. <laughs> and I know I'm not eating, like, Drost, I think is another European chocolate. Yeah. So it has a flavor in all of its own. Yeah. And it's not a strong chocolate flavor. It's, right. You know it's chocolate. Right. But it's not, like, overpowering. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that in the, in the studio. I want you to definitely hold up the other things that you... You brought with right you. Now? Huh? Okay. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I can't believe these are cookies. <laughs> so, see, let's see if you can use your words to yeah. describe exactly what you're holding up so that people can see it. Um, so, this cookie right here, I made this one right here. Mm -hmm. I made for um, Halloween, and it's actually a Wednesday cookie. <laughs> um, Wednesday Adams. And this cookie took me five, well, both cookies took me five hours to make. So these are works of art for people, you know, you're, if you're listening on the radio, yeah. these are work, works of art. So you can tell that this is Wednesday from the Adams Family. Right. And it's, what was it? Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin, yep, from Home Alone. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what did you make that one for? For Christmas. Because, you know, you can't have Christmas without Home Alone. <laughs> it's a tradition, right? Exactly. It's a tradition. <laughs> yeah. Those are, they're beautiful. They're Thank gorgeous. You. If you are listening on the radio today, I'm going to encourage you to, in the next couple days or so, to go to the WLI YouTube channel and go ahead and get the visual on this because these are works of art. Like I can describe what I'm eating, but the visual on it is they're beautiful, beautiful cookies. Yeah. What kind of what kind of orders have you gotten since you started your business a couple of years ago? I've gotten all different kinds of orders. Um, so I actually did beluga whale cookies for Mystic Aquarium. <gasps> for cool. the For, I forgot the beluga whale's name. I'm so bad at that. I don't know. I don't but know. But for his birthday, that was two years ago. Oh my goodness. Yep. I have done baby showers. I have done you name it divorce parties I, oh. hmm. i've moms to be um wedding yeah definitely weddings pretty much anything you can think of i have probably made a cookie for <laughs> well and if you can't think of it you can make up your own event and <laughs> have meg make a cookie for it right <laughs> exactly what kind of lead time do you need for let's say i want two dozen cookies the size of the this cutie pie one which is what about three inches across yep, about three, three inches. by three yep so right now um all orders are are about a month that i would need notice a month for okay. yeah all right so think about that people so let's see what's coming up uh st patrick's day yep yep uh, and easter, easter before you know it 
You know, because Easter's in March. Yeah, it's very early this year. Do people make Ash Wednesday cookies? I don't haven't done many Ash Wednesday cookies. I think that would, like, what would they look like? A lot of people do want to do, well, not a lot of people, but when they do Ash Wednesday cookies, it's a lot of crosses. Yeah. And I think that's basically all I've seen or heard of people wanting for cookies. Because I'm thinking, how would you make ashes into a cookie? Oh, I don't know about that. Just smear some black? Probably. I have seen crosses before where they put like the, a smear of actually ashes really? on top of the cross. Oh. Yeah. So a person could literally design their own cookie, Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. So what's this for for the cook like your drop cookies and your cookies for events not these five hour ones yeah what's the shelf life for this like how long will these last so those ones i always heat seal and they're always in bagged separately so those ones will last two weeks in the bag mm -hmm. and they can be frozen actually up to three months and when oh. you thaw them out it, they taste exactly the same well you know what that's that makes life easier for people who might want to order because yep. you can think of something three months ahead of time and you can get it early instead of later. Exactly. Why don't you go ahead and hold up a few pictures and describe some of the examples of the other things that you make. Okay. I mean, you already did, but <laughs> go ahead. I'm just going to keep eating this cookie. <laughs> okay. So I've done dinosaur cookies this one's actually a giant mixer with edible royal icing flowers oh, that's cute thank you and i actually um this one right here is for a baby shower and we did watercolor this one actually looks exactly like her invitation and then we have some mom to be little bee themed right here for Aww. a baby shower do you want me to keep going? is it sure Water, edible watercolor? Oh, yep, edible paints, yep, edible. So it's watercolored exactly the same except with edible paint. So all all, all elements of your cookies are edible. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, yep. go ahead, go ahead. Yep, we've done some cocoa melon, some basketball shoes for a birthday, <laughs> and I've even done um, this one right here. She sells exotic plants. So oh. she sent me pictures of leaves, and I made those up to look like the actual they leaves. They look like leaves, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, an engagement party. Oh, those are beautiful. Very romantic well, looking you. with the glasses of champagne and the rings. And yep. is it a wedding bellish kind of thing? Yep. Yep. Very pretty. And then let's see here. We have some characters. So, um, so Marvel, we have Elmo, Winnie the Pooh, and Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Yep. That is like the rage these days, yep. isn't it? Yep. I just got my first dose of that a few weeks ago when I was hanging out with some friends from Ghana. Oh, really? That's all their kids were talking about. And I'm like, show me what Paw Patrol is. It's so, very popular. I don't know. <laughs> very you know, popular. I, this, this is how you know I have no small children at home anymore. <laughs> what do you want people to know about your business and your services? Where can they find you, Meg? So you can find me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, so just recently, my my actual, my first page uh, got hacked. So it turned into some shoe company page. Um, I'm trying to get that one back. So for right now, I made up a temporary Facebook page. So mm -hmm. you can reach me on there. And that's Sweet Meg's Creations. How many followers did you have on your page before? I was of over 800. Uh -huh. So we're starting from scratch. So hopefully I get it back. <laughs> Oh, that is, and <laughs> Hopefully I mean, my regulars will find me again. <laughs> so that was that was probably out of left field. Right? Yes, definitely. So like, definitely. What did you just turn on your? I did. I actually computer? had people message me through. I didn't notice right away. I had people message me through um, Google My Business. Mm -hmm. So on Google, they're messaging me that my page got hacked and turned into some shoe company. <laughs> oh. So we're, I'm trying to fight that back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hopefully we get that one back. But until then, you mm -hmm. can find me at Sweet Meg's Creations on my backup page on Facebook, Instagram. And is that is that what it's called? Is Sweet Meg's Creations? Yep. And do you have something on your logo? I think there was. Was there a flower or something on it? Yep, there is. It's a little um, whisk oh. with a flower. All right. So yeah, that's your kind of like your branding there. Yeah. Whisk with a flower. Yep. So you've been doing this for a couple of years. You said. Yep. I've actually been a pastry chef since two thousand two thousand and seven. And I have done 
cookies for the last two years. So where are you? What are you? Where do you pastry chef? So I'm a full time pastry chef at UConn in the bakery. Mm -hmm. What do pastry chefs do? Oh, what do we not do? <laughs> we do everything from cakes, cupcakes, um, let's see, muffins, cookies. Uh, I can't even, there's just a ton, a ton of things that we do. Pastry is mainly sweets? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we actually do some savory. We make some savory scones. So it's not all sweet, mm -hmm. but mostly sweet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Is there a favorite thing that you like to eat that you have created? What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Honestly, my favorite are those blueberry oatmeal cookies. Blueberry oatmeal. <laughs> that is the word. Yes. So can I ask how your prices run for stuff like that? Sure. So um, my so my custom sugar cookies, they start at 50 a dozen. Mm -hmm. And then the gourmet drop cookies, they start at 36 mm -hmm. for 12 Mm -hmm. All right, great. And how do you accept payment? I do cash, Venmo, or Square. Square, all right. Yeah. And it has to be, you said, two weeks? Uh, a month notice. Oh, a month yeah. notice, all yeah. right. So no emergencies allowed, huh? Sometimes I can fit in. Yeah, it all depends. It depends on the month. Do you have a phone number that you pr like people to call, or how do you like people to sure. put their order in? Um, so most people get their order in through Facebook. I also have a website, um, www.sweetmegscreations.com. You can also do your order there, mm -hmm. or you can call or text me, and my phone number is 860-208-8466. 8466. Yeah. Mine is 208 also. Oh. I can remember that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So this is Sweet Meg's Creations. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram. You have a phone number. Why don't you go ahead and say it again? I should have done that earlier on, so that's my fail. So. Oh, the phone number? Mm-hmm. Um, 860-208-8466. Before your pastry chefing, was there more pastry something in your history, in your um, past? So I've always been kind of, I've always been into baking. I actually first got into it with my grandmother when she was still alive. Aww. She used to teach me how to make pies and cookies, and that's where we started. Mm -hmm. She was actually the one who named my business way back when. She had Alzheimer's, so she would always call me Sweet Meg. And so, and she would always say that I was going to open a bakery and it would be called Sweet Meg. So that's pretty much where it came from. Wow, that is a... That is a very heartwarming story. Yeah. I like I like the grandpa and grandma stories. Yeah. That is very sweet. So she's she's not here anymore? No, she's been passed for like twenty years. So 20. it's been a while. Wow, so you so you would have been like just a little girl probably baking with her at the time, right? Yeah. Yep. So what did you, she said, you said pie, but you don't do the pies and stuff. You're I don't just, do the pies. No, just cookies now. Just, just <laughs> cookies. Okay. So just like, if you're going to order anything else, go someplace else. <laughs> you have your cottage license. Yep. So you want to tell us what that means? That basically means that I have a home bakery so I can work out of my house, but I'm still licensed and I have food certified. So I am serve safe. So everything's sanitary. It's not just a, um, just a, a home person just doing it on the side so mm -hmm. everything is clean and yeah that's basically what it means mm -hmm. okay yeah is there anything that you would like to if i miss anything because i probably have <laughs> anything that you would like to tell the radio audience tonight about um, your business let's see oh i also um this is this last year i actually started doing cookie classes so me and my lovely assistant lindy we um offer um cookie decorating classes oh. and we actually just had one on friday night and it's so much fun and you can be a seasoned decorator you can be a beginner everything's easy simple step by step and i don't know when the next one is it was supposed to be on easter but i'm actually going to be at the hebron maple festival mm -hmm. march 16th and 17th mm -hmm. so i won't have an easter class this year but there will be one in the summer so there'll be a class at the festival no, it'll be your it'll, cookies. It'll be me vending my cookies. Okay. Yeah. So what is what what's in what is entailed in a class? What does that look like? Um. So basically, you get a set of cookies of blank cookies, mm -hmm. and we provide the icing and all the materials. And you come in, and I will literally decorate step by step and show you, and you'll follow along. Mm -hmm. And Lindy will go around and help if you need help. 
And then you'll go home and with a whole set of decorated cookies. You'll mm -hmm. get home a goodie bag and we have refreshments. What's the biggest class you've ever had? We've had, um, I think the biggest one was 21 people. How many people could you do all at once? I think 21 is probably capacity. Can you do that online, you think? Could you teach? That is going to be my next thing, is doing online classes. Well, if you need a, <laughs> what do they call it, alpha beta tester or something like that. <laughs> you know, I've written curriculum and I've taught. So okay. if you want some, I would be happy to make cookies yeah. with you online. Yeah. doesn't sound like a very great bonding experience because you're not even in the room with somebody. That's kind of a bummer. But, you know, it's, it is it is it is an electronic and technological world out there. Yeah. All right. So Meg... Go ahead and tell us the name of your business, how to find you, your phone number. Okay, so my business is Sweet Meg's Creations. You can find me on Facebook at Sweet Meg's Creations, also Instagram Sweet Meg Creations. Um, and my phone number again is 860-208-8466 and you can call or text that number. Blueberry oatmeal drop cookies. <laughs> They are really, really good. I would highly recommend them. I think, actually, that's my favorite one out of all the ones I've tasted. Yeah. What do you think, Matt? What do you... I agree. Do you think? You the, think the, it's the... The chocolate sugar cookie was really good. Too. I mean, Thank the chocolate... You. They're all good, and they all taste good. Like, they don't have that funny aftertaste. Like, right, Because, right. you know, if it's a bad quality product, it's yeah. an aftertaste yeah. kind of thing. But this is not like that. Thank you for joining me today, well, thank Meg. thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for filling in on such short notice. We'll look forward to Pleasant okay. Pizza another time. This is Ruth Hartunian-Allenbaugh, Ravings and Cravings, signing off on Good Company, W-I-L-I.